Complaining about the price is not going to change anything. Ladies and gents in Cyberland, coming back to you with another uh, real estate video. And this one I'm going to discuss because something that I've had to deal with with a couple buyers, and I figured I would just share this and tell it like it is. So, with the way the market is right now, interest rates are high. A lot of homes are sitting longer than 30 days because you know people are not dropping the price some people are but not enough and uh, and then some buyers they're just not willing to uh, either they can't afford the interest rate because how much going to be more to be or they're not willing to compromise they're not willing to budge on how much they're willing to pay for what they want so I had a um, former client that I ended up um, no longer doing business with because um, I would keep showing them properties and every time they liked what they saw and the minute we got to the price point they started complaining it's like I'm not paying that I'm not paying that and I would tell them okay what are you willing to pay for and then when they gave me the price point, I said, okay, um, well, here's the thing. Uh, for that price point that you're looking for, you're not going to get that here. And of course, they didn't like what I had to say. They felt like, well, you're not trying hard enough. You're just making a broad statement. You're not, um, it, it turned into a bunch of accusations. And I said, okay. And I said, um, let's go over something really quick so we understand you understand where I'm coming from and you understand that I'm giving you exactly what you're asking for and they said fine I said okay you asked for a three bedroom two bath they said yes we did I said okay you asked for it in these neighborhoods correct they're like yes okay and you're willing to pay how much and they said this is how much we're willing to pay I said okay the price points in these neighborhoods are, is this much. And they said, well, that's just ludicrous. And I said, yes, it is ludicrous. I understand where you're coming from. However, that's what it is. That's what these people are willing to sell their house for. They're not going to compromise on that. And no offense, but if it was you on the other, it was, if it was you that was selling, would you do that? And they were like, well, when you say it like that, no, we would I said, exactly. So this is what we can do. You're willing to pay this much. This is what's available for what you're going to pay. And unfortunately, you're not going to get it in these areas. You're not going to get any emails or any uh, information about homes being available in this price point. If you're looking for something this price point, they're going to have to go to these areas. Well, we don't want to go to those areas. I'm like, okay, well then what is it that you would like to do? Well, well, isn't there, I said, no, there's, there's nothing else. These are the price points for these neighborhoods. If this is what you want, if these is the houses that you want, you're going to have to pay this amount. Well, well, we're, we're just not willing to do that. I said, I understand. Are you willing to, um, are you willing to move further out? No. Okay. Well, what would you like to do? Because at this point, there's nothing else I can do for you except keep you up to date. And when you feel like something's um, available to you or interests you, then we can take a look. 
And at that point, they just said, well, we're just going to take a break. And I said, okay, I understand. You can take a break. But please be aware that as you are taking your break, um, if the interest rates go down, which you're hoping for, correct? They're like, yes, we are. Well, please keep in mind that the price points are going to go up even higher. So either, and I, I kind of... Um, I had to tell them the nicest way possible. Either you're going to pay, either you're going to pay for the property you want based on the price point, or you're going to pay based on your interest rate. But you're going to pay. You're not going to get out of it. If you want the property, if you don't, then that's fine. You know, um, I understand. You know, it's not for everybody. But you're one way or another, you're going to pay. And at that point, they listened to what I had to say, but they didn't like what I had to say. And that is what it is. So uh, we ceased the conversation until, you know, we said goodbye and all those kind of things. And about a couple weeks later, I got a call from them saying, Hey, uh, we we're interested in this house. We want to take a look. And I said, sure. Let me let me get the information. And I told them, um, have you looked at this, or did you just pull up the information? Did you look at the address or anything? And they said, yeah, it's for this much, and it's three bedroom, two bath, like we want. I said, yeah. And do you know where the area is? Like, no. And I said, okay. So your price point? They're like, yes, but it matches our price point. They're like, yeah, but. You want the area to be a certain, you want the neighborhood to be a certain neighborhood, correct? They're like, yeah. I said, okay, well, this is not going to work for you. Well, we just want to see it, and we'll make our, our own decision. I said, okay. Let's go uh, take a look. Went and took a look. And, of course, like I told them, they were like, uh-uh. We don't like this. This house is not for us because the neighborhood. I said, yeah, and I, I told you that. The, the neighborhood is not that great. Well, I mean, would they be willing to take um, a, a price cut? And I was just like, well, how much are we talking about? And they, were, and they literally were like $60,000 left. I said, absolutely not. I could put an offer in, but they're not going to accept it. They may not even reply to the email. And, of course, the husband was um, realistic with what I was telling him but unfortunately the wife didn't like what I was saying and felt like she, I'm sorry to say she kind of felt like she was entitled and at that point um, you know she real her demeanor just got really nasty at that point I mean she didn't yell at me or anything but you could just tell like she was she wanted to say something but she wasn't going to and I just said, okay, well, um, you know, let me know if you, you find anything. And then later that day, I got a call from the husband, and he tried to say it in a nice way, but he was like, yeah, I just don't think the, the things are working with us, how this is going to work, you know, we keep asking you for certain things, and you're not delivering. And I said, I said, okay, well, um... How am I not delivering? Please let please explain to me what I'm not doing that you need. And they're like, well, you're showing us homes that we like, but the price point's too high. And I said, yes, exactly, because those are the homes that you want to see. And I told you the price point, and I told you that if you want something lower than that, you're going to have to move further out. Well, you can't, I don't understand. You mean to tell me there's no homes in the price point we're looking for here? I said, no, there isn't. And if there is, they're in neighborhoods that you don't want to live in. The neighborhoods, I'm, for, I'm sorry to say, they are run down. You don't want to pay that price point for those neighborhoods, correct? He's like, no, we don't. I said, well, what is it you would like me to do? Because you're not willing to budge with your price point, but at the same time, the price point that fits you you don't want to live in run-down neighborhoods, as you guys have made it very clear. And at that point, the guy was just like, well, I just feel like, you know, you're not, 
you're not providing. I said, sir, I'm, I'm providing you everything I have. This is what it is. There's, there, I've given you all this stuff that you want to know about. I, I set you up on our MLS. Um, I've been looking for homes, but the reality is you're not willing to um, budge. You want to pay this much, and you want this, and you're not going to get that. You're just not in this market. You're not going to get it. So, um, you know, he didn't like that too much. And, and of course, I just said, well, you know, um, I'm sorry. You know, it, it kind of, the, the um, discussion started going south. I said, you know what, sir? I think it's best if, uh, you know, we just part ways, you guys um, figure out what you want to do, and you find a realtor that's willing to do what needs to be done for you. And he was like, yeah, I think that's the best approach. I said, yep, yeah, you have a good day. Click. And that was it. Um, I, I've gotten to the point in my life where I just don't, I'm just not going to fucking do it. I'm just not. Um, maybe that means less transactions, but my sanity is more important than trying to fucking run around and trying to make somebody, um, I can't make people do what they don't want to do. But at the same time, you're not gonna, I could be utilizing my time to do something with my kids, do something, play one of my games, work out, run some errands, you know, just anything that's productive. How is it, how am I being productive when I'm running around in circles with somebody who, doesn't want to accept the reality of their finances. I can't do anything about that. And uh, that was that. Because no matter what I was, no matter what I told them, no matter what the information was stating, they were going to complain about the price. And if it wasn't the price, it was going to be about the neighborhood. It was the funny thing is, it was never about the house. It was either the price point is too high, or the price point is kind of where we want it to be, but the neighborhood looks like shit. And I was like, well, there are other options, but why don't one have to commute? He's like, well, then you don't want a house. And unfortunately, that's just kind of how it is when you're working with buyers. There's just some buyers that, no matter what you do, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna budge. And sometimes you give them all the information, they're willing to listen, and they still feel entitled, and it should be their way. That's just not reality. So anyway, with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.